What's going on, guys? This is your boy Project Iceman. I bring you another episode of Pokemon Empyrean. All right. In the last episode, we went through the entire Ice Gym, including that last place where you get a free Pokemon if you complete the puzzle, which was very, very complicated. <laughs> but I managed to figure it out with a little bit of help with YouTube. And, uh,. I don't know how here if Ulti managed to figure it out so quickly. Like I was having the, I, I was having very a difficult time with it. Uh, he was having a pretty difficult time with it too. But uh, it was because of him that I figured out the right side of the puzzle and was managed to figure out how to do the left side by myself because I didn't want like complete, uh, complete hand holding from that. So now we're about to go against the Ice Gym Leader. That's what our team is looking like so far. So if are starting to catch up in levels, um, probably not a good, a good idea to have hearts right in the front. I'll put Shelly in the front. Trainer Shen, you made it this far. You climbed all the way here and solved all of our puzzles. Now it's time for you to face the twin captains of the Ice Gym in a double battle, Alia and Tika. Are you ready? Great, then let's... Oh, Shen, you're just about to battle the captains. I'll wait here, then. We'll permit you to fight alongside your friend. Ooh, a multi-battle. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. This will be interesting. Am I interrupting your party? Blitz? Y you're here as well? Well, you're going to have to wait for Shen and I to defeat the twins first. What did you do with your hair? Another friend? We can't permit a 3 versus 2 battle. Well, yet we'll let you choose who you want to pair up with Shen. So it's a double battle. Great. Double the battle, double the pounding. Let's see. Blitz or Moira? I think I'll go with Moira because I have I have I I battled with Blitz before. No, let's go with Moira. You want to pair up with me, Shen? Yeah, sure. Really? Thanks, Shen. I won't let you down this time. Let's get that Intimidate drop for the Weaver, and probably the Day of Bomb Snow. The threat has been neutralized. Celia. Hmm. I guess I can at least take out the Weaver. Blizzard, huh? Oh, if it looks has snow warning as well. Oh, that was a crit? Oh, it was Akaberry. Okay, that ex that explains things. Yikes! Let's 
go to Shelly. Go for the bullet punch. Oof. I did a lot less than I was expecting. Oh, Choppleberry. Wow. You guys and your berries. Glacian. Hmm. I'll use U turn on Acelia. Let's see. Go to Veronica. Wall rain. I did not realize I was so under leveled. It's not like I've been skipping on battles. I don't understand why I'm so under level compared to everyone else. Yikes, you have it too. Free Marina. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can get a burn. Oh, well, at least you dropped a special attack. And the hail has finally stopped. Go for that cross chop. We present to you the Icicle Badge. With that badge, the soft level cap for your Pokemon will now be 65. Shen, thank you again for rescuing me. I want you to take this TM from us as a sign of gratitude. Ooh, Blizzard, okay. Good luck on your journey onwards. My phone is ringing. Hello? Shen? Shen, do you hear me? Agent Ch Chigsy? I hear you very well. Excellent. I made it to Mesmer Town, Shen. It's mighty cold here. I should have brought some warmer clothes with me when I flew here. I'll search for you some sweaters or something in this strange building. Oh, it's the Northern Rangers Guild. Do you know where it is? Can you come meet me, Shen? I want us to begin searching for your father as soon as possible. So do I. I just defeated the fifth gym, so I'm coming there right away. Great to hear that, Shen. So I have to hang up now. My fingers will freeze if I don't. See you in the Northern Rangers Guild. Sorry, everyone. I have to go. So, I am very underleveled. I did not realize how underleveled I actually was. Level 65 is a cap. And their max was level 60. I barely have 50s. Let's see. That is Sephira. Uh, levels 42. 
I'm gonna train Kenra. What is your nature, actually? Naive? Oh, that ain't bad. And let's check out the Dratini while we're at it. Quirky. Okay. Aquajet, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Dragon. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we're. You, you, you. You're on the team. You're on the team. I'm sorry, Kimura. You're gonna have to hold off for now, cuz. That moveset. I'll bring you back. Honestly, there's really no no use for you. I wasn't expecting a double battle, so. Alright, let's save the game. There you go. Shen, you got here so fast. I suppose you are just as eager to find your father. Now, where do we begin looking? Ah, before I got here, I requested some intel on this place. And while there's nothing that spectacular in this town, there is something very interesting right above it. Forgotten by time and people somewhere above this town, there is an old abandoned military complex. I don't know where it is exactly. The exact location is classified. Even I couldn't get that information. But this abandoned military complex sounds like a perfect hiding place for the remnants of the Voidev group. What do you think? That must be it. Right? I think so too. Now, I suggest we go look around town, ask around, see if any of the locals know anything about the military complex. Okay, let's head out. Were you here before? Yeah, you were. All right. Shen, I heard something interesting from an old lady. She claims she saw old equipment lying around outside a cave. That must be the entrance to the abandoned complex. The only problem is we need to follow this river upstream if we want to reach it. So she also said that the old man Sharon who lives in this town has a raft and that he can take us up this river. The old lady said he lives in a secluded area in this town, but she's not sure where exactly, so we'll have to split and look for him. After we find him, let's meet here again. I think I know where he, what he's talking about. Oh, not here. All the way in the right, uh, the right uh, north corner, or northeast corner of the town, there is an isolated area building that I discovered. Mr. Sharon? What? Why are you bothering me? We need your help. Can you take us upstream on your raft? Huh. <laughs> Why would I do that? Listen here, young man. If you want me to do something for you, you'll have to do something for me as well. I'm a collector of ancient coins. The ones I'm particularly interested in right now are the golden coins of the Epirian Kingdom. If you can get one for me, for my collection, I'll consider helping you go upstream. Okay. Golden coins of the Epirian. If you get one for me, for my collection, I'll okay. Hmm. Alright, let's talk to what's his name. Maybe we can figure out where these coins can be found. The old man Sharon lives as clue. There are a lot of forests here, so maybe there's a hidden house. Oh, okay. Thought I was supposed to talk to him afterwards. Uh, Alright, so where did he say they're located? A collective ancient coins. The ones I'm particularly interested in right now are the golden coins of the Empyrean Kingdom. If you could get one for me for my collection, I'll consider helping you go upstream. Where can you find these coins?
And I guess I'll have to go to the uh, route up north. Route up north. Oh, Roxworth. Shen, good to see you. It was one hell of a climb up to here, I'll tell you that. But I'm finally here. I cannot believe I'm finally standing in front of the Star Temple. Say, Shen, do you want to go snooping around the temple with me? Going alone in there is a little bit unsettling with all the hood monks praying in silence and cold. Yeah, sure, why not? Ah, splendid. I'll wait for you inside. You better be quiet. Hmm. Let's head forwards. I'd like to check up uh, check out that altar at the top. Isn't this a marvelous piece of uh, ornature? I believe the letters carved in stone here. They are from an ancient alphabet used in the long lost kingdom of Empyrean. There are also carvings of these star symbols. The two stars, as is the Lenamuf. Uh Le I don't know how to pronounce that. A motive here. Hmm. Now that reminds me of something. If I remember correctly, a fellow archaeologist of mine who also dabbles in de Daliesque fiction recommended to me this book. I believe the book told the tale of an alien race from a certain double star constellation. I'm not very fond of science fiction, so this stuff held no value to me. Haha. <laughs> Forgive me. That can't possibly hold any reference to these stars here. Now that I'd like to find... Now what I'd like to find is the Lotus Symbol. Yes, the one you saw at the ruins as well. Let's see... Ah, here it is! And would you look at that? Two golden coins of Empyrean are embedded in the marble here, right next to the Lotus. This is so rare. I can't believe there are actually some here. Are you thinking of what I'm thinking, Shen? Yes, let's snatch them. Hold on while I try to pluck them with my knife. There we go. Shh. This is also a part of being an archaeologist. Trust me. But still, don't tell anyone. Now that that's done, to find the lotus symbols here as well, it is truly puzzling. But it is true that the Mesomerian tribe that settled north in these parts did originate from the Empyrean Kingdom. It is considered by all the historians that the Omeran tribes discarded all of the old insignia and valuables from the kingdom. Could this mean perhaps that the Mesomerians didn't discard everything of the old kingdom? If they were more deeply connected with the kingdom, they might have taken some things with them. But in what way they had to be connected for them to carry the coins with them all the way here? This is remarkable, Shen. I want to talk to the townsfolk now. Maybe I'll uncover something truly significant here. Take care of that golden coin, will you? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> You have the coin? May I see it? Yes, yes, this is it. I'm not going to question how you got it. What is it that you wanted from me? To take you upstream? Wait for me by the river. Shen, the old man is here. He'll take us upstream. Come on, let's go. Oh wow, that's a pretty good animation. Thank you for the ride, sir. We'll be back shortly. Look, Shen, the old lady told the truth. There is old equipment here. And I see the entrance to the cave there. Follow me. This is it. Let's go inside. Oh, let me heal your Pokemon first. Appreciate it, bruh. Let's do this. Oh, well this looks familiar. Look Shen, some of these computers are still active. I know it's technically illegal to snoop around these, but I have a funny feeling there might be some clues on them. So he says the same thing, so I guess I can just continue. Turn 
when I was waiting a command. List. Select the file to read. Desert Nova. We finalized the search for the optimal uh, location of the pillar. It is on periphery of the desert continent to the west. Oh. I think I know what continent they're talking about. Isn't it? Isn't that where uh, Blitz's sister is at? In the following days, we'll prepare for the big move. All the zirconium alloy materials will be shipped by its anchors. All the analysis done here indicates high... Corrupted file, huh? As a, as a, the energy readings... Uh, uh, divergence... Uh, 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 material stable... Uh, 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 conditions for summoning... Z uh, uh, positive... Well, that was informative. <laughs> Shock drive. Wait, isn't that for? Isn't that for what's his name? Um, Genesect. Yes. Two star. Nineteen eighty six. The archaeological student team, led by the Leung S. Roxworth, was uncovered fragments of meteor rock in the scorching sands of the Imperian ruins. Upon scientific examination of the rock, it was determined to be more than ten thousand years old. That the origins traced to the two star system, M40. What was more interesting than its age or origins were the special energy readings. What was then thought of as a, a radioactive leftover is now known as. Uh, something energy. Okay, these aren't active. Okay, I read that one already. Is that a drill? Oh! Sorry, I got held up by that terminal. There is some cryptic stuff on there, and I don't know if it can help us. Let's investigate further. What's this? Looks like a rock. A lot of rubble or everywhere. Nest Pokemon. In our search, we completely ignored the untapped potential hidden within the elemental creatures surrounding us. Yes, Pokemon. It is Pokemon that can summon fire and electricity at will, teleport, fly, and read minds. For as long as it is known, Pokemon have acted to the benefit of humankind. But humans never attained any of these powers for themselves. What is it that is preventing us from reaching that potential? Is there some sort of limiter? Are we just not physically capable of such things? It is the organization's purpose to find the reasons and remove them. Egg. The legend has it that the original one, Arceus, hatched from an egg that emerged from nothingness. Arceus then created the worlds. In the first world he created, he inhabited with many species of animals, and on top of those animals, he created special creatures, Pokemon, made in his image. But the creatures he created were not Pokemon we know today. They resembled us. They were self-reflective, bipedal, intelligent, but they wielded all of the elemental powers. With their magnificent powers, the creatures built civilizations, but they could not be at peace, for their thirst for power made them fight without end. Having seen that the creatures began destroying each other in the worlds he created, Arceus stripped away their powers and gave them to the animals, for animals would never have some but such ambitions of destruction and chaos. Hmm. So the story is going in that direction. Yeah, let's not go that way yet. That's probably the right way to go. Uh... What else is here? Ah! A banatite. A banatite. Alright, so let's go back. Let's go 
this way. Speed candy. Another one. Another one. Galadites. Oh, is that a carpet? There's someone there. Who are you? Where's that? Extella Geminus. Sir, my name is Agent Janet. I'm with the Pokey Agents. I'm here on an investigation. I have the stone. I must return. I must return. What are you doing here? Out of curiosity or something else? I must return. Oh, whoa! Damn it, he got away! If I'm not mistaken, that was one of the Star Temple monks. I believe they called themselves the Star Order. I don't like this. Something very fishy is going on. I would suggest we take a little visit to this temple, Shen. But first, let's check what he has was looking for here. This computer seems to be working. There are some files here, but the last one opened was fusion.txt. That's weird. The file's timestamp is from the future, year 3030, but that's irrelevant. Let's read the contents. At the star, at the temple altar, and Pokemon return to being one and the same, with the magician's blessing, prototype of myself will come to being. The loop will be closed. As for a guardian of the ceremony, I have sent to you my loyal friend, too. Do not fail me, Excelle Germanus. That's all there is to it. I can't decipher a single thing, but by the vague sound of it, I'd say something is bound to happen at the temple soon. Let's head there quickly. What? Oh, okay. I thought my route was blocked out for a second. If we combine two, those two, the resulting creature power could possibly let the of this. The embed DNA, once stabilized, would mark the beginning of a new breed, soldier, tactical weapon. Something else is hiding in the DMA. Regardless of the procedure, find the same energy footprint. The same elusive one name needed for summoning. Hmm. You shall not pass, child. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Do not interfere with the ceremony, child. Real quick. 
You should. Oh, they all say the same thing. I feel sorry for you. You're misguided. I'm afraid I cannot let you proceed. Ah, wisp blind. Yikes. I got destroyed, huh? Move out of the way, or I'll move you myself. You seek to force your way through, but know this. Only the Chosen Ones can find their way through the Labyrinth of Stars. Others will be lost forever within its infinite chambers. Labyrinth of Stars? Whatever, I'm usually a very patient man, but the behavior of your members in this matter really sets me off. Come on, let's go, Shen. I'm gonna heal up real quick. Wait, how much time has passed? 34 minutes? Okay, this is a good place to stop. Alright then guys, I will see you in the next episode. Later.